homo, but I wasn't gonna lose. Cause I wasn't gonna suck dick for no views. You see me if you see me. It's not the fuck it. I had to get a hold of myself. Hey, no what's up, guys? We're no back with another no top five. And, and this time we are doing cornerbacks for no Madden hunt. 16 in ranked match. And this is what a lot of people wanted to see. A lot of people were waiting for the cornerbacks and the DBs. Like, everybody just wants to see the quarterback, running back, corners, safeties, and even linebackers. Nobody wants to see the DNs. Nobody wants to see the D tackles, offensive line, tight ends, kickers, punters. Nobody cares about It's all about the skilled position. So we're finally here at the cornerback position and who is number one other than the best cornerback in the league hands down stats do not lie Richard Sherman is the best corner I don't care what you say don't care what you say Richard Sherman is the best cornerback in the league hands down that's it coming in number two with the same overall though 97 overall Darrell Revis now, I don't really I don't really like Darrell Rivas like that, man. I think he's good, man, but I, I kinda think he's overrated. No, I wouldn't say I wouldn't use Yeah, overrated. Yeah, overrated. Not way too much though, because I do give credit he is, you know, he is a good cornerback. But people put him on that level with Sherman, and I mean he does, you know, put up good stats and people don't want to throw the ball his way and stuff like that. But, I mean, as a real football standpoint, if you really look, like, just because the penalties aren't called doesn't mean he isn't, you know, pass interference wide, pass interferencing wide receivers down the field the whole entire time. Revis is a dirty player. And what I'm saying is as you're running downfield, for the most part, Revis is holding your jersey. He's pulling you down. I'm not saying Sherman doesn't do it neither. I'm not saying a lot of other cornerbacks in the league don't do it. But I'm saying Revis is supposed to be top tier and he gets away with murder so much. And they don't call jack shit on Revis. And it pisses me off. He's always holding receivers, holding their arms, holding their jerseys, pulling them down, hitting them before anyone touches the ball. Nothing, it's, it's like, it's because he's at that level, he's just like, it's like Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. Well, Tom Brady, he can yell at anybody and he could do whatever the fuck he wants and nobody says shit, you know, because, oh, it's it's him, you know, so, but he is one of the best cornerbacks in the league. I just think Sherman is way better and I'd pick Sherman over Revis any day of the week and I don't think Revis is on Sherman's level. But definitely, Revis is one of the best cornerbacks in the league. But if you look at these stats, though, guys, like, he has nine, this is Sherman. He has 92 zone on um, man coverage, 99 zone coverage with 87 speed. They only gave him 87 speed to start Madden 16. 99 play rec, though. Look at that play rec. And 99 press, too. <laughs> but 87 speed. I don't know how this year is going to be, but a lot of receivers are slow this year. But you do have some of those uh, those other receivers that have about 92, 93 speed. We haven't played this year's Madden, so I don't know how this is going to play out. But hopefully, you know, him being six foot three can help him out. There's no telling what's going to happen until we play the game. But he has 98 jump at that and set, um, 80, 85 catch. So, hopefully it's not like Madden 15 where you have a good catch rating and you still drop interceptions. Like, it's... last year, Madden 15 was the fucking worst. Everyone dropped picks. It didn't matter. I had gold ticket Dion and he would drop picks. I had gold ticket Calvin and he would drop picks. Everybody. I had gold ticket Taylor Mays and I think... The, the dude that made Go Ticket Taylor Mays, like, put, like, a, a, a 99 catch rating on him or something like that, he would drop picks. It's just like, what the fuck? It's unbelievable. And then you would have sometimes, you know, like, the 95 Taylor Mays with disgusting catching rating. He'd catch picks sometimes. You know, like, the, the catching rating really did not mean jack shit. For the most part, you were going to drop it, but sometimes you'd catch it, and when you catch it, you were happy as hell. Like, thank God I didn't drop it. You know what I mean? So... Hopefully this year, the catching rating, stats, and I say this all the time, but hopefully this year, stats actually mean something. 
you know, because last year stats didn't mean anything. And in the years past, stats didn't mean anything in Madden. So hopefully they start to really mean something in this fucking game. But now we go on to Darrell Revis, and he has 99 man coverage when Sherman only has 92 coverage. But he has 94 zone where Sherman has 99 zone. And he has 88 speed, so he's one one more speed faster than Sherman. But he's also 5'11". Richard Sherman's 6'3", so that definitely favors Richard Sherman. Um, 90, 95 play recognition with Sherman having 99. And he has 87 press with Sherman having 99. So, yeah, again, Sherman is your guy. Now, we go on to number three spot. Vontae Davis with... 95 overall they give him a 97 man and a 94 zone now that's really that's really good man 98 press he has 98 press so Vontae davis and sherman is your guys that you would definitely want at cornerback to be you know pressing these wide receivers also shines in run support with 88 speed and 88 play recognition now it ain't on the level of sherman with the 95 play rec or um I mean, Revis with the 95 play rec or Sherman with the 99 play rec, but 88 play rec could definitely get the job done. And 88 play rec as a cornerback is really good too. So that's definitely a cornerback you'd want. Now we got at number four, Chris Harris Jr., 94 overall. And he's coming off last year's ACL tear. Uh, 89 speed. So they actually put him faster than Sherman and Revis. Um, 95 play recognition, beast. Um, 98 man coverage and 97 zone coverage. Wow. Now, this is the best coverage cornerback out of the top five. As you can see, Sean, Sean Smith has 93 man coverage with 95 zone coverage. So, he has 95 this chris harris has 95 play recognition with 98 man coverage and 97 zone now he lacks on the press he has 78 press that's disgusting you would never want to press this man but he has the best man and zone coverage mixed in with a beast play rec at 95 and he has 89 speed that's that's nice because again they gave revis 87 speed and they gave they gave Revis 88 speed and they gave Sherman 87 speed. So for him to come out, and they gave um, Vontae Davis 88 speed. So for him to come out and have 89 speed with that beast coverage and the beast play recognition, I honestly, I mean, he's only 5'10", though. He ain't, he ain't Richard Sherman 6'3". But this is definitely, with stats like this, you know, this, this is one of the best cornerbacks in the game right now. Obviously, he's in the top five. But that... <laughs> coverage wise he's the best corner in the league coverage wise now we go down to 91 overall this is the fifth and he is 86 speed now that's a little bit on the slow side he is six foot three along with richard sherman but richard sherman has 87 speed he has 86 speed um 94 play recognition 93 man 95 zone 97 press so you can definitely feel comfortable pressing him and you would want to press him anyway because he has that 86 speed. So you would want to make sure to either... I mean, there's two ways you can play it. You can press him and have somebody over the top. And you could press because he has the beast pressed and he's slow. So you would want to slow down your wide receiver so he doesn't get like a really good a route to create separation. Um, I'm talking real life. I'm, you know, I, I talk real life and, you know, Madden's always something different. But... Or you can um, have him over the top, play like 10 yards, um, five, to, um, 5 to 10 yards back with nobody over the top, and you can play that way. So it depends on the coverage. You know, Again, I'm speaking from real life football other than Madden. We'll have to see. Like We haven't played the game yet, so we would have to see how things would go. But yeah, these, these, all these cornerbacks are really good. It just depends on how you're going to be using them. But this Chris Harris, you, you would never want to press this guy. 78 press, he will get shitted on. Um, when the when the quarterback calls hike and that receiver takes off, he will get shitted on. He's not pressing anybody. Anybody. <laughs> He's not pressing a kicker. It's a wrap. But 
these are the top five. I'm actually surprised. Now, I know with the Madden cover and everything like that, the Madden cover, um, it's all a popularity contest. It's not like who really deserves it. Like back in the day, it used to be like, oh, who was the NFL MVP or whatever like that? And they would make the, they would make the cover. You know what I mean? Who really deserves it? They'd make the cover. It's not like that no more. People vote and, you know, it's all a popularity contest. But it, it's funny how Patrick Peterson was in the running to win it and he ain't do shit last year 2014 he ain't do shit well 2000 yeah 2014 to 2015 he ain't do shit jack shit but he was in the running some way some fucking how they even put him in the trailer they even put him in the goddamn madden trailer like oh, look at me patrick peterson you know getting interceptions and shit like that but he's not even top five corners in the league um, starting Madden 16. He's not even top five. So that's kind of shocking. And like I said, like he doesn't deserve to be up here. But the fact that he like had a chance to win the Madden cover, it's shocking that, you know, him being, you know, everybody knows who Patrick Peterson is. It's surprising that, you know, just like Calvin didn't do as good, um, but they still had him top t five. You know, because he's a big name. Um, AP, he didn't play last year, but they still had him top five because he's a big name. Um, Navarro Bowman, top five, even though he didn't play last year because he's a big name. You you had they, they had a bunch of players that, you know, didn't play last year or didn't play good or didn't play what they should be or what they're used to. You know what I mean? They slacked off a little bit. And even though Calvin did get still a 1,000 yards on um, receiving, but... They didn't play to what you would expect from them being monstrous and just being unstoppable forces. Either they didn't play or they didn't live up to what they usually do or what you would expect. And they were still in like top fives. So, and that's because they're big names. Patrick Peterson is a big name. You know who Patrick Peterson is. So, for even though he didn't do a lot last year, the fact that he was still in the running for the cover and he's not in the top five is it's not disappointing but it's shocking it's sh i expected him to be top five i'm kind of happy he didn't though uh, you know at least they put their foot down about something because he didn't really do that good last year to be top five so i'm glad that he's not here but yeah so let me know what you guys think of this top five appreciate everybody supporting the videos man definitely means a lot i will see you guys on the next one